Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer at Cetreze Brewery in the Pyrenees in wonderful, wonderful Spain. And we have a bottle of the Solano Ale. I really like this. Um, I, I like the sound of it. When the sun, they, they got the name from the beer. When the sun comes out in front of the brewery, they serve this Solano Ale, nice sunny day. When it gets when there's no sun, when it's cloudy, they have a brown ale. Uh, which what's the brown ale called? Uh, the, when it's dark, uh, the, the obara. Obara. Oh. So they have an obara ale when it's when it's dark and cloudy. <laughs> so okay, um, it's brewed with nuggets and amarillo, pale malt. A little one finger white head. It's 6.2% ABV, uh, good levels of carbonation. A golden, golden colored ale. It's been served with some salmon, but I don't eat, I don't eat fish. So I won't be preparing it with the salmon. Um, let's just do the beer review. Uh, okay, aroma. It smells very good. Typical American IPA. It's quite spicy on the back end. Dry, spicy, good. You can, you can tell that carbonation is. I drink so many beers over the over the time that you you get that carbonation, you get the the, the dryness, even in the aroma. It's almost like a sixth sense now that I'm I picked up that the beer is dry without tasting it. Let's let's dive in. Cheers. It's very good. So easy drinking. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. Biscuit, bready malts. It's got a little bit of marmalade tartness mixed with stinging nettle like a stinging nettle taste in the back end and that's that really comes from the hops being a close cousin to the stinging nettle in the the, the family tree of life they're cousins but it's a nice beer really nice beer nice hoppy ipa nice bitterness on the back end nice sweetness to begin with Biscuity bready malts coming through is nicely balanced. The Amarillo hops, they come through nicely. So for me, it's piney, citrusy, maybe a little bit of grapefruit coming through. Yes. I have. I have the owner, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Wait there. There we go. Hey, hello. Um, I really like this beer. It's, it's lovely. Solano Way. I think my, my description of the beer, it, it's quite dry on the back. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. spiciness, bitterness on the back of the palate. Yeah. yeah. And it's so, for 6.2%, it's so easy drinking. You could, you know, just, and, and all gone. Yeah. I, I think maybe we, we, we the temperature of, we, we, uh, we uh, uh, make the beer, it's 7, 63, 64 degrees. Is the, is the reason, yeah, is the reason, no, no, uh, um, temperature. Uh, in, yeah. the, in the kettle is the reason maybe you feel dry in the, in the end and, and these things. Um, first of all, we have seven degrees, but people uh, were drunk when they come here and they drink because it's an easy drinking beer and they oh. start to drink a lot and we try to. Uh, <laughs> so it's seven percent, seven percent. First, yes, seven now percent. it's six point two, but six point two because people say to us, ah, it's too strong after we drink. Well, yeah. well if you drink three beers, it's normal. <laughs> but <laughs> it's lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Oh. Cheers. Uh, I'm gonna rate the beer. I'm gonna give it nine, nine out of ten. 
Stone the Crows, 9 out of 10. Um, for, forgive me. Joanne. Uh, nice to meet Joanne. Um, next up, I think, Imperial Stout, yeah? Uh, yeah, it's the last one, I think. The last one. It's for the desert, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it's the most strong beer that we yeah. have, and, and we, we, uh, we think in the desert with some chocolate or something like oh. this could be good. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm excited by this. I'm excited yeah. to try that beer, yeah? Well, I, I hope we, we, uh, we respond to your respect, <laughs> no? uh, what you expect. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> well, um, it's an easy drink of beer too. We have 10, 10 degrees, but uh, we try to do always the same with the beers. It's easy to drink, easy to drink and easy to sell, you know. Have you... Going back to the very beginning, when did you get? When did you become interested in beer? Yeah, when I go to the university, I don't go to the class. Uh, I go to the bars. I went, sorry, and my mother said to me, Joel, why you don't go to the class?" And well, mom, uh, I try to learn something. And, and after we, we uh, start to make a beer with, with my friend, and in uh, you know in, in small uh, yeah. homebrew. Home Home brewing, yeah. Yes, and uh, and well, when which which year was this? 2012. Or which year did you home brew? Yeah, we started. We have 26, 20, 2016. Yeah. When I end the the, the 2006. Sorry, 2006. Yeah. We, uh, we start and well, um, this is a project. It's a way to come back home because we go to the cities to study, and if you have no no project, no job for come back, it's difficult to to, um, yeah. to to stay here. And that was the idea. Our idea is well, we drink a lot of beer. Uh, uh, cheapest the cheapest way for drink beer was this. We do our oh, but uh, very uh, and <laughs> it was it was not, not a good idea because. Now we must to pay a lot to the bank and things like this, right? But we are happy. Fan it's fantastic here. Let's let's grab the. You've seen the, the brewery tour earlier. Let's grab the camera and. Fantastic facilities. Lovely brewery. Thank you. But thank you so much for joining thank you me. To you. Thank you very much. And uh, cheers.